Hello guys, uh, we are in the series uh, to test the web API uh, in iasbidon.core so uh, before going to do what today's session so last session um, we uh, we saw how to create the web API and uh, the default template with uh, uh, default uh, RESTful operations uh, we are uh, going through and uh, not only that so we, uh, we uh, uh, just saw that um, how to uh, uh, create the get post method and what's the real benefit of web API everything and we test a lost um, uh, time uh, how the get method will um, get operation is working so today uh, and uh, in last session we saw some error that I am not able to post my record so that is uh, my previous tutorial if you go through you get to know this in the playlist okay so um, today I going to execute uh, the post method uh, okay so uh, in a postman so postman we are using and testing it so please watch the last video if this is a continuation of the last video okay fine uh, so here so I set the uh, parameter value and go freelancer okay this is what uh, it's uh, accepting but what's the problem I'm not uh, mm, receiving the data okay so I just uh, try it in a postman okay so it's uh, here see uh, uh, I'm not getting any response but see in the status 415 uh, uh, unsupported media format see what I uh, tried is uh, I used XW uh, form URL encoder see actually I'm not uh, going and uh, doing the form post okay the problem here is uh, that so I just selected this so API is uh, HTTP protocol it accept uh, the parameter uh, with uh, uh, content negotiations okay the content type is a JSON format so or XML so uh, you have to send the request uh, uh, accordingly so just go on uh, change the application to JSON and in the body section just uh, give the raw item okay so here this is the form body collection okay whatever the parameter you gave so it will be uh, collected in the post okay so it is a single value record so the so then mm, you can directly uh, just go and uh, give the your raw value go uh, free launcher okay so the method uh, type is post and the content negotiation uh, content type for the request you should uh, give us uh, application JSON and in the body you have to select the row and uh, give the go free launch okay now you send the request see my post method got seated and in the value field I am able to receive my data okay so it's a form body okay so then whatever the logic you want to write in the post you can do that by if you want to save the data yes you can save that data so uh, that's what all about uh, the post so uh, so you should uh, uh, mainly think about the content negotiations so content negotiation is very important in a web API as uh, uh, based on uh, the request so whatever the server accepts so accordingly you should uh, uh, send the uh, negotiation content types the based on that the server will respond and it will return you the result okay so hopes you understand so this is the uh, post method so this is the issue why I raised this issue in the last session is to you should understand uh, so yes uh, there is some standard uh, content negotiation that we should uh, um, uh, tell uh, that uh, server to accept the request okay so that's why so if uh, default uh, if you post the form uh, it uh, form data it is not because this is not application post we are trying to send the request through the HTTP protocol okay that's the web API okay fine so next mm, then uh, put we going to test now so this all the what is the post put delete uh, and how this is happening so this are to like uh, already teach you uh, in a, a I think the second tutorial uh, so in the playlist you can go through so now I we going to test the put so put is nothing but update the records so based on our ID parameter uh, it will uh, go and update my uh, record so that's what all about so it's very simple so we have to send the type uh, put so put uh, uh, okay so just go and uh, change the type to put and yes you have to uh, pass which record you're going to update suppose in my uh, database um, 
I have the record okay one so this is my the ID record one I going to update okay let's I going to update the same value go free launcher now you try this sent okay just keep the breakpoint yes put already there okay just go there and uh, send the request so now it's hit me the put okay and the I received the ID one and the value is go for launcher so uh, it's now hit me the updated method so based on the record ID go and find the ID and update this record so that's what all about here okay so put mechanism now the finally we are going to see the delete so delete uh, you have to send the type negotiation the type you have to set delete and anyways the header uh, negotiation content type so no need uh, other stuff so we will see one session uh, what is the content negotiation so what is this benefits all the stuff but basically uh, you, uh, this is what you should uh, do uh, to send the request okay now the delete uh, record so as I mentioned delete record only pass the ID so uh, fine there is no need of any kind of uh, data to send okay so directly you can send so it will hit me the delete type delete so automatically it will find my uh, header attribute and it will uh, uh, hit this method so uh, go please go and delete this ID okay so now we we are clear the complete uh, restful uh, cycle so uh, how to uh, get the um, whole records how to get the single record how to post the data how to update the data and how to delete the data so we are ready now uh, to manage the web API so here you can write your logic and you can return whatever the type of data you want to return you can do all the stuffs where you want to post so generally this is you can use the entity framework and post the data so this session I already uh, teach you a lot of times to how to post the data everything so you just go through that uh, sessions try your entity framework how to use it yes you can get it so even uh, the same whatever the logic you, you are writing for a business logic to update the data post data you can use that so this is the way guys uh, so web API works okay uh, finally I will explain you shortly how the things so you have to set uh, the root like API and the controller so normally based on the type it will go and hit it so the we have to uh, create the method if you want to get operation get and you have to mention the type HTTP get and HTTP get the single record you have to assign the parameters same thing post and for the put you have to assign the same parameter because you are updating based on one single record and delete also based on the ID it's a key ID okay so this is the key that you are mentioning so you should be aware where you are going to pass the parameter because post anyways no problems the record you are going to post and get all record also no need but finding the single parameters yes because the uh, in a API parameter th you are passing not uh, uh, the parameter for the methods okay you are not posting the uh, uh, body this is uh, this is not um, a form body record okay F uh, you should uh, uh, have the difference okay this parameter you are passing in a API request and the form body uh, is the uh, collection of the data that you are uh, passing okay uh, that is uh, that is the main difference that you should aware of that okay hopes you understand and uh, thanks for watching the video guys so here we are uh, done with the uh, web api basic tutorial so this tutorial why we are doing is so this uh, service we are going to call in our angular js uh, sorry angular 4 plus application that we are already working on it so you can go through my angular 4 plus tutorial to associate it with this uh, to learn angular 4 plus thanks for watching the video guys if you have any doubt queries on this uh, please comment us if, uh, please subscribe our channel if you're not subscribed before to get a regular updates.